Hello, I am Seamus Tanahu of Eve University, and this is episode 15 of How to Survive Eve Online. We're going to cover a lot of distance in this episode, so let's jump right into it. Uh, first of all, you may have noticed that I've removed the code breaker and put back on the afterburner. Uh, let's go to the journal, right click each agent one at a time, and start conversation. For the first agent, select mouse over the first drop-off location, set destination. For the second agent, mouse over that drop-off location, add waypoint. Mouse over Clelanon, add waypoint. These are two courier missions, they both start in Clelanon, but they go to different locations. These will be random destinations. It may not be Elme and Ansal in your case, even if you are working for Center for Advanced Studies. So click accept on both missions and drag the necessary cargo, an encoded data chip, and a crate of electronic parts to your cargo hold, and let's undock. Always very important to make sure that the courier cargo is inside your cargo hold. Okay. You don't want to travel several jumps, only to realize that you forgot the cargo. Right. I mean, imagine if the UPS or FedEx guy showed up at your door uh, saying that your package that you've been eagerly waiting for has finally arrived, and you walk out with him to the truck, and he opens the back of the truck, and he looks at you puzzled, and he looks inside the truck puzzled for a moment, and goes, Oh man, I forgot to load into the truck again, did I? That's not what you want to happen as somebody who's waiting for a package. So in EVE Online, when running courier missions, you don't want to leave the cargo behind. Jump through the gate. Now, uh, you've got multiple waypoints set, and your route is going to overlap itself. Uh, if you see more than one yellow stargate, uh, then you should look at the next system and route, Look for the name of the solar system and look for the stargate of the same name. Then click warp. warp drive now, while we are traveling, let me talk you, to you a little bit about skill training. If you open your character sheet, uh, you, remem you might remember that I told you to go to the settings tab and show all skills. So let's go back to the skills tab and there are all these sorts of skills that exist in a game. You're just looking at the category headers. Uh, jump through the gate. Right click the first header, or something I like. And of course, jumping through the gate made my pop up menu disappear. Where am I going next? Sheenans. Left click Sheenans, warp. One thing that I like to do is right click a header and open the group window. And you can make that window big and you can see a list of all the skills that apply in that category. Right. You can right-click the next window, open that group window, click and drag the title bar, merge it into the first, and so on, and so forth. This is something that I just like to do as uh, my own method of organizing these windows because, oh, I've arrived at the gate. This is something I like to do as my own method of organizing these windows, just so that I uh, can more easily occasionally review what skills I do and don't have and consider what goals I want to train towards for my character. You don't have to follow this particular method of organization. Go with whatever works for you. The rate at which you train skills is dependent upon your attributes. For example, right now we are working on a skill called Survey. Wait a minute, why... Oh, Jufeet. I didn't have enough cap energy to go warp all the way to Jufeet in one shot. That's why I stopped in the middle of nowhere. Alright. Um, every skill relies on certain attributes. If you look at Survey, and show info on it. And you look at its attributes. Its primary is intelligence, its secondary attribute is memory. Well, what are those? 
Well, that's referring, if you go back to the character sheet and you look at attributes, you have five attributes. Intelligence, perception, charisma, willpower, and memory. You've also got something called neural remaps. Uh, jump through the gate. By the way, uh, whenever you reach, uh, whenever you drop out of warp next to your next stargate, uh, make sure you jump through the gate. Let's see. Uh, and Sol is my next destination. I will warp there. Warp drive active. So you have these five attributes. Intelligence, perception, charisma, willpower, and memory. And these attributes determine how quickly you can train various skills. And the rate at which you train skills is primary plus one half the secondary. That many skill points per minute. So in the case of survey, the primary is intelligence, the secondary is memory. I've got 20 intelligence and 20 memory. So 20 plus one half of 20, that's 20 plus 10, that's 30 skill points a minute. So I get a skill point in survey every two seconds. Tick, talk, tick, talk, eight, talk. Oh, jump through the gate. All right, so your attributes determine how quickly you train the different skills. Now, survey is intelligence memory. Uh, hold on, where am I going next? Uh, Gisler. Warp drive active. So, survey is intelligence memory. Galente frigate is perception willpower. So the rate, once survey is done, I'm going to continue training Galente Frigate, but that relies on completely different attributes. It doesn't use intelligence and memory, it uses perception and willpower. In your particular case, those will also be 20 and 20, because that's what you started off with. Uh, let me jump through the gate. So perception is 20, willpower is 20, so it's 20 plus half of 20, that's 30 skill points per minute. Uh, let's see, what's my next destination? Elme. Warp to zero on Stargate Elme. Warp drive active. Okay. So the only one that's short is Charisma. So I'm training everything pretty much at the same rate. If I wanted to specialize in skills that rely on only a couple of attributes, though, I could do that. Now one way to increase your attributes is through implants. You don't start off with any implants. I will explain implants in further detail when... Well, let's jump through the gate. I will explain implants in a little bit more detail when you actually get an implant later in this series. Uh, hold on. Let me double left click these title bars. I think we've arrived. Right click, balancing the books, objective drop off, dock. Okay. Another way is to use a neural remap. And the Neural Remap, if you click on the Remap Now button, allows you to change the distribution of your attributes. So you can train certain skills faster and other Docking skills slower. Requested. Docking request accepted. Push Cancel. Do not save changes. Remaps are very hard to come by. You will get two remaps as a new player. Once you've used the second, you cannot do another remap for one year. That's one real year. Today is uh, June the 24th, 2011. If you join the game today and blow your both of your remaps today, you're not getting another remap until June 24th, 2012. So if you're going to use neural remaps, be smart about it. If you're unsure, leave it alone. But it's something to think about in the long term. Uh, let's see, which agent am I supposed to be... Okay, this is not all green check marks. this is the wrong agent. Let me right-click the other agent and start conversation. Here we go, complete mission. He rewards you with an item, but that's back in Clomelon. Let's close, let's undock. So, you can readjust your attribute points to train certain things faster, but it also means you train other things slower. How should you remap? Well, that'll depend upon your goals. Uh, let's see... 
Gislaries is the next solar system. Let me warp to the gate at zero. Warp drive active. So, be smart about your skill training. You don't want to use a remap unless you know for certain that you're only going to train, let's say, intelligence-based stuff only uh, for the next year, or only perception-based stuff for the next year. If you're not sure, leave it alone. But it is something you should think about for future use. Jump through the gate. Let me move this aside. Next system en route. Ansal. Wait a minute. Where is this supposed to go? Oh, Ansal, right here. Okay. Uh, left click Ansal and select warp. Warp drive active. Okay. And jump the gate. Alright, right click empty space. Making mountains of molehills. Objective drop off dock. And here's the last Ooh, of the windows that went and merged together. Now I have this set to show all skills, so if I'm looking at any particular category, I can see the complete list of skills that exist in the game. I could instead go to the settings tab and show only skills I can currently train. Which should, which did not propagate to the other windows, I wonder why not. I click on the Skills tab, and suddenly my screen freezes. Why? I'm hoping this is... Ah! Okay, so the change only propagated when I click the Skills tab. Alright. Uh, under Agents of Interest, right-click, I think it's Hoovernair. Am I guessing correctly? Start conversation. Everything's green check marks, so yes, that is correct. So, I will complete the mission. That finishes the two missions, and I will undock and head back to Klalanon. So, having changed the settings to show only skill... Hold on. I select two feet, and warp to zero. Having changed this to show only skills I can currently train, uh, prevents, presents me with a much shorter lists. And I can look at the lists of skills that I could go inject if I wanted to buy them. You can click the blue circle with a white eye in it to show info. And read what the primary and secondary attributes are. You can also read the description. Motion prediction. Improved ability at hitting moving targets. 5% bonus per skill level to weapon turret tracking speeds. You'll have an easier time hitting things that are trying to move around you. If we go to industry, we look at mining. Jump through the gate. Skill at using mining lasers. 5% bonus to mining turret yield per skill level. Hmm, that'll be useful for you. It's a good idea to review the skills that exist, the skills that you can currently train. Uh, you may want to take the time at some point to actually read through those lists and figure out for yourself what skills sound useful, what skills don't. I'm going to set this back to show all skills. Go to skills tab. I think I am coming up on the 15 minute limit for YouTube episodes, so I will stop talking here as I make my own way back to Klonalon. Uh Remember, you want to follow the next system in route. In the meantime, thank you for watching.